The Salt March by Esther David. Starting in 1835, when provinces in India increasingly came under British rule, the British imposed a tax on Indian salt and a series of salt laws. The tax raised the price of Indian salt and made it difficult for Indians, especially poor people, to buy the salt they needed. The salt laws made it illegal for Indians to collect, produce or sell salt. Anyone who produced or sold salt in India, outside of the British, could be imprisoned for six months. Gandhi and many others found the imposition of the salt tax and the restrictions on salt production unfair and decided to protest against them. He said, next to air and water, salt is perhaps the greatest necessity of life. Salt is important because it makes our food taste good. But more importantly, salt is essential for our health. Gandhi organized a salt march from the Gandhi Ashram in Ahmedabad to the seaside village of Dandi in the south of Gujarat. It started on the 12th of March, 1930, with Gandhi and 78 people. We know them as freedom fighters because they struggled not only against unfair laws, but also for Indian freedom from British rule. Along the 240 miles from Ahmedabad to Dandi, thousands of people from all over India joined the march to protest British rule, the high salt taxes and the unfairness of not being allowed to produce and sell their own salt. Gandhi and his followers walked about 12 miles a day and reached Dandi in three weeks. He called it a battle of right against might. At the end of the march, Gandhi picked up some grains of salt from the seashore and took a pledge. With these crystals of salt, I am going to shake the foundation of the British Empire. With the Dandi march, Gandhi launched the civil disobedience movement against the British Empire. Following the Salt March, 80,000 Indians, along with Gandhi, were jailed. But the British administration eventually relented and invited Gandhi to London to discuss reforms in India. Gandhi's salt march got wide news coverage and proved to be a turning point in the history of India's independence movement that led to independence in 1947. With this simple act of standing up against injustice, Gandhi shook the foundation of the British Empire in India. He showed that by working together, people of conviction and courage, even if each one is as small and powerless as a grain of salt, can make an enormous difference. <laughs>